Hey, what's happening? Thanks for joining me again. I'm Chris. And uh, while I'm still on vacation here, happened to find this other one from Cigar City. This is the High Lie, which uh, was my last review. This is their version of it that they put on American White Oak. Um, I believe it's White Oak Spirals, whatever that actually means. I have no idea. <laughs> but um, that's how this one's finished. Comes in at 7.5% alcohol by volume again. Um, I want to say this one is a January release. I was looking on the bottle for any sort of dating. Um, offhand, I'm not seeing it, but I thought I saw on the website, um, this was sort of one of those uh, beers. It's just a uh, one month, a year, sort of limited release, and I believe it was January. So it uh, should be very fresh seeing this is, you know, just beginning of February. So let's see what we got. And this is pretty much the only glassware I really had in the house. wasn't uh, wasn't too wasn't too much here. So, um, so the color here is general. It's like a real cloudy uh, iced tea kind of color, amber. And there wasn't much in the way of a head on here. Um, just really thin. Um, the other thing I noticed with the other, I just had a regular highlight, a lot of yeast uh, hop sediment on the bottom of the glass. So I can definitely notice still a lot of uh, the same thing in this, you know, sort of that lava lamp effect. But let's, uh, let's give it a smell here. There's definitely a lot of the oak in, you know, that, that fresh oak. That's, that's really all I'm getting right now off uh, out of the aroma. A little touch of citrus, but mainly it's it's that oak component right there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no alcohol or any anything like that. Just pretty much the oak. So let's see what we got for a taste here. Cheers. That's awesome. Um, it's still has a lot of that traditional, the, the typical high lie, tropical fruit, citrus, you know, that mango, the peach, but it, it blends really nicely with that oak component. The oak is definitely not overwhelming in any way to this. It makes it a really, really tasty beer. Too bad this only comes in a four pack and I have to drink that four pack by tomorrow when I fly home. So <laughs> I got some work to do, or do I? This is an excellent beer. Well worth picking up if you can get it. It's, you know, there's no alcohol in the taste. You know, you know, it's a very, it's, it's like mouthfeel, slightly oily, kind of resinous. Um, not too much, you know, there's a lot of really nice rich malt component to this as well that, that balances it out, you know, between the, you know, so between that oak, the malt and the hops, it's all blended very nicely. It's really a treat to drink. So, with that said, I'm gonna keep enjoying the rest of this. Hope you're enjoying something as well. See you next time. Cheers. Go ahead. You can edit it. <laughs> this beer review has been ruined.